Mm-hmm. So I can delete that now. They dropped. Okay, so we're gonna do most of the prep on stream for this at first session anyway. For subsequent sessions I'll probably do like some intermittent prep stuff, but it won't be like the entire process I'm gonna do it right now. I already did a bit but like Intro. I don't know where I'm gonna have them start yet. Probably a tavern, because that's the simplest thing. But yeah, so it started from the beginning. I have this calendar over here that I used for the last campaign that I need to refine. I've already like cleaned it up and got rid of a lot of the old references, but blah blah. blah. Kind of unnecessary stuff. All right, so. What did I write about Eric's? Let's see. A small trading hub along the river heading towards the Uru Sea in the Claws. The Uru Sea is down there. Claws are right there. Special monster easy access to trade with the inhabitants of the Asomi Hills and the Mountains of Mist. So boom and boom. Fucking okay. got the stuff. Dude, adjusting all these audio levels tomorrow is going to suck. <laughs> People are busy and I haven't gotten a chance to do it yet, but oh well. I'm sure the couple things are going to be scuffed. Right, there's a core of a few days each of Erickson came in here and told secrets for hidden treasures and relics that had chests full of gold at the right bar. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's one of the important things. You saw me bargain. Called the town to grow more. The town's mostly irrelevant, it's just like a starting point. For what I have ideas for in the future. Because basically the first session is just going to be like. Travel a few days. Out to do one of three jobs. If you do it quickly enough. You could maybe hit another job. Before coming back to town. Because uh, everything's going to kick off in like a week. And then once the week happens. It's going to be like a couple. Like five days of March Tycora. Although if they sail, it'll be faster. It just depends on who they befriend. Although actually the boats would just come later. So that they could meet up with the uh, people who are walking. Otherwise it would disrupt a bunch of trade and other crap. Okay. So... Hi, Key. I don't like... I hate writing intros. <laughs> I hate it so much. But whatever. Let's just do that. One of the Dracons, 300th year, and the Age of Legend, or the Age of Glory. Rising Tensions. <laughs> Yes, big real. Also going to be big real stream tomorrow, but you'll probably be asleep. It has been 300 years since the end of the Dragon War. A conflict between the mortal species of... Oh yeah, the mortals. Mortals and great worms that were hell bent on dominating them. You're off Monday, so we'll see. Yeah, dude. I hate writing intros or DD stuff so much, dude. Oh my god. So, yeah, how you been, Sponge? It's been a bit. Send me your powder blue car. Unless that's just your test vehicle. Okay. The important thing is that. The intro needs to be like, not a lore dump, but like a lore taster that's quick enough so that we can get into the actual game. Very good. Very nice. Introduced since the end of the Dragon War. A continent. Yeah. Yeah. 
a massive conflict that spanned the entirety of the continent. Lasted roughly 300 years. Fought between the yeah, Dragonsworn, their Great Worm Masters, and the mortal species. First day, let's go, dude. Well, I haven't been streaming that much recently because I've been prepping all this crap. Mortal species. Oh my god, why am I getting such massive? Actually, no. This is basically what it looks like when I prep off stream too, Sponge. I just write like two sentences and I just go, yeah, hmm, what do? And then all of a sudden it's just like bingo and I just, boom. In the dragon. Oh wait, yeah. I don't want a mess call it's really tardy. They brought the mortal species to their knees. Hmm. I could write a whole bunch that would be super lore dumpy, but I don't want it to be lore dumpy. That's the thing. 300 years since the end of Dragon War. That's going to take time to come. Great worms. They're corrupted. Dragon swarm. So. Yeah, the great worms. Dragon swarm servants and the mortal alliance. Which brought many nations to their knees. Outright to destroying many, there you go. actually all others. Conflict. Well, it's been doing today. I'm doing all right. We chilling. I just doing the campaign or the session one prep for the stream tomorrow. How are you doing, Gifty Gabby? Sponge, where the hell do you get these gifts? Is this Snatter again? Of course it is. Um, <laughs> the world has been in... Uh, actually, yeah. Since the conflict, no large-scale warfare has taken place. Is most of the continent... Yeah, most of the wise nations and rebuilding and restoring that which was lost during the war. Uh huh. Really well. Nice. Also, this music's from a mod and it's crazy good. And I'm probably going to use it for like a chunk of the game, like a large chunk, because it's really good and it's creative. Commons. I don't need this anymore. Because I've already figured out how to do the math better than that. So, what are you crushing that dude you like? That happens. Just a 
repeat of a man bashing a table and throwing off the papers in the video of the man writing on paper that turns to fire? Huh? I wouldn't be that wrong. Still ring that which was lost during the war. New nations have risen to power. The three most powerful being Ilion, Caden, actually Ilion, Palos, and Caden in that order. <laughs> being the city states. The music is great. Yeah, it's so good. Surprise for you? Maybe a happy surprise. Or is it a bad surprise? I'd assume it's a happy surprise. Spell dreamer settings. Yeah, I really want to do some sci-fi or cyberpunk type or type of game, but I really need to. I want to do this one first. New nations have risen to power. Yeah. you begin. The three most powerful being City Seeds Billion, Palos, and Caden in that order. Also, I've been sick all week. And I just started feeling okay yesterday, but I'm going to laugh if I end up uh, damaging my throat today <laughs> and tomorrow. Go well. Happy surprise. Let's go, dude. Between the three great powers almost broke out 20 years ago. It was avoided with the signing of the Asomi bargain, which allowed each of the nations safe passage and rights to exploit the resources found in the Asomi Hills. Imaging your throat tomorrow. Dude, if you want to do opera, go do opera. This is this is getting very wordy, but I as long as I can wrap this up in another sentence or two, we're good. Because this will just be like, boom, campaign. Over the premise. Although we'll see. I have a feeling I'll end up writing a whole bunch. Hardest thing for when you want to do. Oh yeah, our DM in the Friday game we played said we could buy any magic item we can find in the book. So I saw a rare helmet that's like a spell jammer helmet, and I was like, "Yeah, we could attach this to our folding boat and just start flying around." And then he was like, "Hey, wait a minute, no, you can't do that." <laughs> like, but you said we could have anything. But okay. Found in the Uh The new changes in leadership in, uh, yeah, Caden and Ilion. The old bargain holds less weight as foreign agents have been found in the, yeah, it'd be good if I could remember the name of all my own stuff that I wrote. One keyboard keeps auto cast locking, so you can only find the cast. GG, dude. Uh, <laughs> More. Oh, wait, I can just check it here. Age of glory. The answer is yes.
put this over here actually. Wait, but I still need it over here. Oh wait, aha! New window. I'm big brain. Oh no, it's all PTSD. Yeah. It's very effective. You know what I want. Yeah. In Ilion's low council. I have a tears from Caden. Again, assaulting trading vessels from both Alos and Ilion. An attempt was made on the life of Caden's ruler by a group of assassins. Details don't matter that much. Da, 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 da. With the stage set, you have all come to the town of Eryx. Dude, I'm so hungry. I was like, I'm just gonna eat a little snack and then we did a stream, but now I'm just hungry as hell. The town of Eryx. Aura could prove to be a valuable um, stronghold in the all but inevitable war between the three great powers. Some of you have come seeking your fame. Fortune, glory, while others come search of knowledge, truth, justice. Oh yeah, I'm playing Lego Batman in uh, a third and like a superhero game. Slim's gonna run a bunch. It's well, I'm playing Lego Batman with the fucking claws, dude. That should be meme as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Knowledge, truth, the American way of life. No, that's stupid. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Um, damn, I should have written down what I thought of when I was getting in the shower this morning. Because that was just really good, straight and simple and to the point. A new purpose. Just to find more out about yourself to Eric's
Fireworks. And so let the adventure Golem Saga again. That's so corny. I kind of love it. <laughs> okay, so got the intro, blah, blah, blah. There's probably something I can do better. Not, not too worried about it. It seems fine. That'll be later. Fantasy town generator. Do I want to make a town myself or do I want to generate one? I'm going to generate one. Settlement. This is, I, I don't remember it being this annoying to use. Is it this one? That's in Russian. Oh, of course. It says are you. Yeah, thanks. Nope. This one looks whack. I mean, this one's also the easiest to just, like, draw on. Put crap down. Although, I'll probably just use a picture. Instead of, like, having an actual physical map. Well, I mean, it's like, you could try and do it all yourself. Which might be more satisfying. Or you can just be like, alright, look, a town. Uh, population doesn't matter. It has to be a large town, technically. The market district, this place, blah, blah, blah. Does, the names don't matter. But Greek, though. In case it affects it at all. Geography. I mean, it's not, it's not an island. It's inland. Longer river. It's all foresty. No, it's just grassland. Normalize. Walled. It's probably walled. And we already have something right here. Pretty basic. But it gets the job done. Now, if only I could figure out why it's zoomed in. Go. Where's the. Yeah, there we go. I want a medium town. Greens. What does that mean? Hmm. I like turn off the labels. On maximum number of roads. No, I do fall roads. I don't know. I haven't played with this thing in so long. Style. Do not block me. Thin lines, thin tint districts, other roofs. Oh wait, is it being affected by my dark mode? Not really. Two worst states is typically in World War II, excluding Japan, run by someone not from there. You're saying foreigners are evil? I'm kidding. <laughs> Legend. I just add my own. What emblem? Oh. Bar. 
Doesn't matter. Title doesn't matter. I don't want a compass. I don't want any of that. Supply section. I mean, a lot of this is irrelevant, really, because it's just kind of like, there's a town, there's stuff in it. What's in the town? Well, you need a tavern. I need a smithy. Because this is a town. Uh, probably, sort of... I don't want to get into all that crap. You plan for the players to explore? What it ends up happening is... So, if you put them on a map like this, and then you put labels on the map with, like, a legend, they're gonna just hit every shop up like it's a video game, and they're gonna get a quest. Which is why Theater of the Mind a lot of it. Got a tavern and a smithy. They'll definitely go to the tavern. They'll probably go to the smithy. We could also fill out the jobs, which would then inform what other types of buildings there are. This town has a mayor in it. We'll click the learn more button. Galio Vedrix. The mayor's house. There are docks. I plan for some to be ignored. Not really. Just like your stuff. Do what you want. Track's going really hard. So the is there's the mayor. Probably a town hall. But that's kind of irrelevant. Or a town hall is irrelevant. Unless there's we're gonna deal with like court or domestic disputes and other crap like that. Or like trying someone for crimes in the town hall. Like that does that doesn't matter. Guard, barracks. I there'd be way more stuff in this because a it's like a town. With 6,426 people in it. Unofficially. But still. That means there would be a bunch of stuff. All over the place. It's kind of just like the important buildings. Uh, what was Jason's character's name? Argus. His friend. Lives here. One of the NPCs he knows. Where are you? Why can't I find it? I broke a scroll past it. To Laughlin Iron Boot. And iron boots house four four thousand people in it there's also medieval times with heavily decreased population numbers due to war oh I probably fixed that huh age location Doesn't need that. Don't need that either. 
Publish. I'm always finding errors from one person. Okay, so we got the tavern smithy. I can always improv other buildings. Kind of like. It's important. It's probably like a chapel or a temple. Probably more of a chapel or church. We could just roll the brothel into the tavern to save time. Actually, and then we, yeah, we divide these more into like, uh, so market district. We got the docks, the dock district. The inn. Uh, probably like a fight pit. The chapel to save time too. It depends on the god. Mm, it's probably this is what the random things are useful for. Town. Milk side. What the? You know what? Using these names would be hilarious, so I think I'm gonna use them. <laughs> no, you had over the milk shot, did you? No, preset, vivid, apply. There we go. Now it's much easier to see stuff. Your real side. Jesus. Yeah, might as well. Dun 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 districts. Straight old district. On dock south board. It just seems too big. But this is too small. I need like an in-between. Like holy shit balls. That was huge. Uh it works. So we got, I don't need that anymore. Got the West Ward. Dunwell, probably the Market District, another crap. the tavern to be in the west ward outside the walls well probably wouldn't be outside the walls there'll probably be an inn outside of the walls that doesn't get that many people <laughs> Got a tavern a smithy Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe the dude just like living outside the walls. It's not surrounded by all these people. I'm gonna try and do a Scottish accent for certain NPCs and you're gonna fucking cringe. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna laugh. West Ward. That's where Homeboy's house will be. Along with probably a tannery. Or actually, stables, farms. Uh, abandoned in you beg me please don't all right, then I'll just make all the dwarves sound like this. That was, I barely put any effort into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, I shouldn't even think that much about this town, really, because, like, they're not going to be here that long. Like, they'll be here for the first session. Probably part of the second session. Actually, no. It'll be part of the first and part of the second session. Alright, I'm already coughing. I might have to cancel tomorrow. It picks up again. Because I've only been talking for like, what? 37 minutes right now? Granted, there'll be more breaks. Alright, there we go. I guess on the outside, yeah, on the outside of the upper ward, there's like gardens and stuff. House. Begins with large parks and gardens. Or would they just be like bougier farms? Towards the the inner walls of the town, or the mayor's house, guard barracks, and the landed nobility live. Actually, the landed elite live. Yep, that's part of it. The port. Um, I heard something about like people using chat GPT for their like location descriptions and stuff. Probably make things a lot simpler, but you know what I could also do? I could just go grab the description I wrote for another town a long time ago and just paste it in here. I would save so much time. Especially since I know some of them didn't even get used. What takes me like the most time usually in the prep is uh, coming up with some descriptions for buildings, mainly so that everything isn't some brick and mortar or timber log cabin. Wouldn't be that sneaky. I'm streaming it and I'm going to post this video on YouTube. <laughs> Um, is there even anything I could use? I don't think there's. Actually, aha! I never got to use this. In 1945, Berlin with that level headed and tactical thinking. I was, uh. I didn't exist. I wasn't even a sperm in my father's balls. 
Because my father wasn't born yet for another 24 years. <laughs> Archive. Campaign one. Let's say one note recycle bin. Delete. Settlements. Aha. Uh -huh. Damn, there's barely anything in here. It's not even worth copying. <laughs> uh, not existing because it's 1945. What do you mean, bruh? <laughs> Warehouses, docks, various smaller ships capable of quickly navigating the rivers in the over the sea. Man, that's unimportant. I'm writing in world builder mode. I need to write in session mode. I just like brought up 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 description. This is what it looks like. So what's going on in the port? Uh, uh, yeah. Sealed with sailors, traders, and merchants. Booze. Dolls. Uh, actually, weren't allowed to peddle their goods. Well, district. Rows of warehouses. Actually, it'd just be like a couple warehouses. A dozen warehouses. CD, inns and taverns. What are the streets? Beggars. Actually, no. We're not in a terrible time. I need to remember that. The terrible times come later. Warehouses. In actually, it would be right now for the port, it would actually be like a dozen warehouses, uh, tents, warehouses, two inns, trumpets. The streets themselves. Uh, 
and the district's pathways are filled with mercenaries adventurers who come here to seek their fortune Gosling role to associate yourself with for LARP. Uh, driver. Easy clap. I don't think Red Shower should have liked that. Actually. Hmm. Many people come by land. I think most, like, everyone in the party would actually probably sail here. The new transients. Not allowed to stay in the towns. Walls after curfew. That's not important. I keep writing like I'm world building. I did not do that. This prominent building in the area is a stone actually yeah it's a long house made of stone blade runner yeah blade runner is good yeah the stone Why the fuck am I having so much trouble prepping this? This isn't that complicated. I'm slapping the mic too. My bad. A long house made of stone. Walls are covered. Yeah. Has a red tiled roof with moss covered walls. In front of the building, two guards. Email building long swords. I'm professional, hell yeah, brother. Prominently displayed red badge with a sword emblem 
I just played red badge with a sword. What logo? Why why words why word hard? Uh. <laughs> this is a simple description. It's a blank red badge with a sword emblem on it. Yes. Inside of the building are long tables. Those with pelts, trophies, and Weapon racks. I don't want to use prominent display, really. Let's fetch fluids. All right. Along the walls and floors of the area. People with uh, inside the building are long dining tables with armored humanoids wearing various red badges. Are conversing, trading stories. Feasting. Along the walls and floors of the area are pelts, trophies, and weapon racks. Filled weapon racks. Air smells heavily of mutton. And uh, wouldn't be scented oils, would it? Carries to the musk. Smells faintly of oil, mutton, and burning wood. Into the building. Air carries a heavy mass of sweet swallows by the wall of burning wood. And it's out of building. And you see long dining tables that are humanoids wearing various badges that are conversing trading stories. Feasting. Talking with each other. The walls are closed there. station where mercenaries are signing up to um, let's see 
Work for Redshire. Bring me coming campaign. Actually, yeah. Work for Redshire. In a job involving. Yeah. Actually, no, that would be outside. They wouldn't allow him inside. You need some bread? Nice. How many feet? 20, 30, 40. Is a recruiting station headed by a long haired. Yeah, let's see. No, because that could be the description of her height or her hair. God is annoying. Building his recruiting station. Where? Doo -doo -doo -doo. There he's all lined up. At the front of the line. Actually, yeah. Counter. <sighs> oh no, she has short hair. Noise. One. Yeah. Oh, frail looking for a human man. There, square jaw and plate armor carrying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just don't want to do this right now. But I must. On the tall. Actually, yeah, the one on the left. the table I'm catching it and take leather coat on the table and catching it repeatedly Must prevail. Yes. There he is, man. Fight is a woman with medium length, red hair, 
Nice. Wearing uh Red hair, bright eyes, right hair plate, wearing a long sword. Seems to be the one in charge. Uh, the recruitment process. Uh, let's see. Elf name generator. And then whatever sounds good. Female, Saldana. Chalia. Can't make this too. I have a plan with this. I can't make it too obvious that I probably just did. Teriani. Salusa. Alora. Alora sounds fun. Uh... Merrick, blah, blah. What else is in there? Yeah, on a table. Room is a... Noble's garb. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna gaslight David so hard with this. Holy shit. <laughs> Silvery blonde hair. Clean shaven face. Dark blue eyes. Nobles, refinery. You joke about the gaslighter? No. No, I haven't, Sponge. You can't fool me. names fantasy and folklore humans yeah, i want a heroic horse name that sounds funnier he's thunderlight mckenna alakazam <laughs> let's just go with like uh anglo-saxon name because he's probably not originally from here alnoth godwin yes i like the sound of godwin No, I haven't, Sponge.
<laughs> I could just bullshit improv whatever conversation on it or anything else. Um, I don't, I don't think they're gonna care to look at anything else here, really. I could always introduce my super meme shopkeeper, man. No, that's for later. Just make the smithy a general store. It's fucking. I hate. I hate making a million different shops. It's so annoying. I never ever use this shop, so I'm fine with reusing this. Then right through town along the north. Actually, right through town, almost near its center. The appliance or simple building with a white shingled roof and simple furniture. I'm depicting a copper wagon wheel. I shot us little souvenirs. Also souvenirs. Um, let's see. Which illuminates the area in warm sunlight. It's so wonderful. Behind the counter is. I'll improve someday. Why? Is a male dwarf. Brown hair, blue eyes, golden skin. A luxurious Fu Manchu mustache. And Swearing overalls and has a set of carpenters tools in his belt. Denying lava shield at your service. Although, who the fuck knows what accent I'm gonna do? It's the American way, Sponge. Pronouncing like that is going to be funnier. Maybe. We'll see.
<laughs> okay, that's fine. The Drunken Wolf. What's happening? Oh, it's the Beyond Skyrim Bruma fucking storm thing. I was like, what the hell's happening in my monitor? It's blinking. <laughs> Should probably start them on the road to a job, actually. But I can just decide that later. Because this is going to be... I'm just writing out the content that's going to be in the first session. It's going to be available anyway. Everything else will be in pro. A large public square is... Our public square sits a two-story brick and timber building at the front of a sign depicting a mangy wolf smiling. Probably on its mouth. Hangs above the entrance. Magical torches contains unique decaminates full of oddities and cured meats and cheeses. Hang from the ceiling. Change his name because I don't like that. <laughs> uh, various individuals, all walks of life. In uh, this establishment, of this kind of day. And the counter is the fifties available back in a ponytail, powerful and hairy arms, red and clothing beneath it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, I was about to write Bernard Cromwell. <laughs> That's making fucking sense. Real names. Let's just get a gr ancient Greek name. This guy's name is probably be more. Freedom Porter. Fuck it. That sounds fine. Woo! Roll 1d3. Special for today. 
for a lot of this stuff, you can just go to like, you know, random tavern generator. And you just go in. And you're just like, all right, what's there? It's a common in with townsfolk. And like, here's a whole bunch of crap. And you can just copy this stuff and put it in. And you get a bunch of content out that way. Without really having to think much yourself. I mean, you could always expand upon the ideas presented. Reporter, roll 183, special order today. Bear Crassel, Casserole of Crowberry Tart. Someone's gonna ask me what the fuck a crowberry is, so I need to go learn what the hell a crowberry is. Crowberry plant. Uh, da 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 da. That just confused me more. It's a bluish black berry. That's all I'm going to say. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care. The, the fucking prices don't matter. Although, it's the special. Um... Accommodations. I just misspelled accommodations. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh yeah, Sponge. I also am using a new keyboard. It actually has more buttons on it. And now I'm fucking everything up and hitting wrong buttons. Um, accommodations. Oh god. Epic. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see, um I caught in the basement. An old rug to sleep on in the basement. Under the... Am I thinking of the right thing? The trellis? So modest accommodations. What do, what do we give them for modest accommodation, Sponge? Just like a regular ass room? Let's see. Um, the first story. Story. Uh, 
I'm just trying to essentially set this up so they're like, yeah, I take the fucking... Modest, wealthy package. I'm gonna be such a shithead with this. That's a door that you can lock. Large room on the second story with a drawn bath. Let's see, drawn bath. Meal already paid for. A bookshelf with reading materials. And uh, company be arranged for another small fee. With a bed. a large bed that's a fine establishment they did they gotta ask it's not offered up front why don't I just become quieter I don't know writing all of this in the Actually, this is simpler. Um, we do that. Otherwise, things get too cluttered. Da, 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 da. Okay, the end's done. Like the mayor's house is there, but I'm not gonna go into any detail describing that of that or the mayor really, because like the, the, they're not gonna go to the mayor. The guard barracks are also in the upper ward, but I mean, they wouldn't really need to know that much about it. Um, oh, yeah. The center of the... actually. Copper wheel is... A job board. Which is where all of you found the work that you were previously engaged in. Because I'm going to start the mono class. I don't want to. I hate doing town intros. I hate them so much. Or tavern intros. So the jobs become much more important. Because I'm going to give them like a time limit of like. Uh, you have seven days before you must return. And then the stuff will begin happening. Although, who knows? We'll see.
How do you keep spelling it on you? District Rx. Renan Mertens. By their trade. Aromas. Fill your lungs. Um, pile stenches to sweet baked goods. Depending on the street you are walking down. Woo! Awkwardly, really we'll sit up straight, boy. West Ward exists outside of the town's walls. It's almost entirely made up of farms, houses for the family. The families that own the farms and the workers and the District is in a little abandoned in is a scorched wood and a collapsed feeling. This is only relevant if Jason wishes to go and interact with him. Small, one story. House that sits along the river of the city's wall, of the town's walls. It's home to an individual you know well, Argus. Old friend of Laughlin uh, Iron Boot. Da 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 da. Twisting chimney only a dwarf could have constructed by the town's walls. An individual you know well, our grace, your old friend Laughlin Ironfoot. I would put Laughling. Laughlin. Door. On the other side before the door swings. Open reeling a 
there. Standing before you is a dwarf, bald head, tattooed face. Actually, no, he wouldn't have his tattoos anymore. Probably got them removed. Chestnut beard. Carved chestnut beard. Is this? Yeah, no, he'd be holding a da 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 da. This is the only important thing. On the first boat to Ilion last night. So important bits. Finding his new home, that's what it comes to. If this comes up, I'll say it. Healing and kill most of my unit. Da, da, da. Okay. That's fine. Nothing else is really relevant in the West Ward. It's the Upper Ward, the Mayor's House. Workouts been going on, friend. Good people. I started doing way more cardio, and then I got sick a week ago, and then I just barely have done any cardio since then. I mean, I've still done like a half hour every morning, but it's not that intense. I started lifting weights again. Almost well, three weeks ago. No, probably like two and a half. <laughs> That's not going right. I was super duper mega sore though. When I, uh... Because I just immediately went back to the old workout intensity. I didn't like trying to ramp up. It was just like, yeah, I worked out and I haven't lifted weights in six months. Let's just go straight back into it. And then I was like, ah, ah, help me. <laughs> Afterward. Let's go with the mayor's house. But yeah. Let me get my pension. Uh, in the center of the upper ward district is a large, actually, 
remnants of a Leaf that has been converted into a house for the ruling mayor to live in during their term. Have an office. Oh, they are an office. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god! I he I keep hearing like food. Sounds of food in the other room. I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> uh, slits replaced by uh, what are they called? thing by balconies structure Feet from the mayor's house is are a series of barracks where the town guard is in and train. They are not on duty. A series of wooden barracks. It's not that important because what then matters is the like uh, the jobs. So actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. Job one would be the closest. So they're already like this far away, All right? So that's two days travel. Now they can go over here. Or they can go down here for the next one. I'll leave that up to them. Yeah, so I'll just mark it. One, two. Okay, it's being weird. I gotta use numbers. Did it did it let me do it or is it being a piece of shit? It seems like it's being a piece of shit. One. Two. Actually, it needs to be one further. Yeah. Well, I used to put the map together. Uh, Photoshop for the image, but everything else is just grab token, put token on roll 20, put the codes in, or link an image, write a description link to the site or wherever the learn more takes you as by deep or what well, dude's code i saw it will just be handed out through various places and then i'll just be that All right it's 
so one will have something to do with hills. I'll rewrite part of the intro. All been given seven days. Days before we march to Ikora. Move again. Actually, yeah. We have seven days to do whatever you wish before. Hello, Gregor's man. How are you doing? Or how you've come there? We're all told you have seven days to do whatever you wish before the march on Ikora begins. You have set out to complete one of the three at least two of the three yeah at least one of the three jobs are posted outside of the Meiji Wolf Tavern. Solemn saga begins. Do 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 do. That's going to attend entirely on where they want to be. Let the saga begin. Okay, so what's the first thing? We need three separate jobs. To the Osomi Hills. I know one of these is going to have to do with the Dragon's one. Cause like basically the first job is just like you go here you do the thing and the other two jobs are like hints at what's to come now what do those items do or if there is an item I don't know or if there is an item, what is it going to do? I don't really know. Not too concerned about that. Um, holy shit, that would be funny though. Someone gets infected immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, they can't all just be murder. First one will just be a bandit hideout. That's simple enough. And then people can also showcase what their character is good at as the, like, the way they get in or how they're going about doing it.
Disappearances in the Osami Hills. The third one will be... Hmm, that's interesting though. It's like, what should it be? No, I can't. Can I use a wyvern? I don't think I can use a wyvern. I think I'll fucking kill everybody. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. It's stronger than I remembered. That would fucking kill everybody, too. So, what's an interesting creature? All the monsters. Sort of monstrosity. I don't know why the hell I want to start the game at level one. Like fucking. Big shock ass. It's just also really hard to... Cappy bear. Is that a capybara, but a bear? It's a capybara, but a bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the monster stat block creation on stream because it's just fucking it's boring. It's just entering numbers. Chop one bandit hideout. All right, well. Battle maps. Reddit. O&E. Grassland. Nice plains, yeah, instead of grassland. Nope. <laughs> um, actually, no, I want a cave or like a hill exterior and then a cave inside. I need to re-get, uh, what's it called? A dungeon draft. Make max myself. That's 
the way through ominous. Their tail. No, 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 no. That could work actually. Kind of dangerous. Ah, whatever. Adventurous. It'll be fine. To see. Bandits been attacking uh, travelers along the road. Them out in a ruin. Waylaying. Big brain. <laughs> Let's go. Out a ruin. In the hills, where they make camp. No soldiers to spare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to have some things be a surprise on stream. So, I'm not going to go into every single little detail. Minutia. But I will say that, like, uh, it's it's not just going to be this. Like... <laughs> It's not just going to be like this spot and then this spot and then we're done. It's going to be, there's going to be some underground things. At least I'm going to go for that. I also thought I was going to decide against them hitting level three, but it, level one sucks ass. Everything's so fucking dangerous. The village of the village of Turn was a swallowed by a sinkhole. Uh, yeah, a few years ago, and the survivors of the event. Settled a few miles away from the site. Yeah, actually, yeah. Settled a few miles away from the previous. Yeah, from the sinkhole. We've lost all contact with them a month ago. And none of our scouts have reported back. Uh, 
one with information. Evan may report their findings to the captain of the guard. But a boop. Let's go with an old name. Now let's go with a new name. Thong. Do rod. Do Captain Maris. Maris. Oh, that'd be really scary. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I can't. Big boy bunker. That's just all I'm, all I'm gonna write. <laughs> Job tree. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sponge. I'm a mastermind. <laughs> I really hope this dude finishes updating his playlist for the Beyond Skyrim Varuma mod, though, so I can... Because, uh, Sponge, I, like, basically put a bunch of tracks from the mod, and then I, like, wrote down the credits and crap like that, so that it would be prepped for posting the VOD on Monday on YouTube. And then when I went to go check the... I went to one of my watch together, and it was like, hey, all these tracks are missing. Then I checked the playlist, and it was like, eight, like 18 tracks are missing from this one, 12 from this one, 6 from this one, and I'm like, oh, no! The big, no, I know exactly what a big boy bonker is. I'm doing that as soon as I eat some food. Because I don't want to prep before the game. I just want to run the game tomorrow. But I'll probably end up prepping because... I put an exorbitant amount of thought into this. But yeah. Or that's what usually happens. Job three. What sounds like a good job three? Blood gold. Ship lost at sea. Yeah, it's really lost in that river. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, ba -da -da -da. My D&D is about adventures and fighting stuff. So this should probably be the silly job. Yeah, dude, they got lost in the river. They're just like, we can't stop! We just keep turning. And external art. Bandit. Draw them now. Lost in a cave. Swear of oh God, I remember writing something. Or at least I had an idea. Hmm. 
Let's see. Oh, actually, no, it's supposed to be hints at what it can be found in Ikora. So that was one of the things. Um... See, this will be for dude in the docks. Captain Maris. Oh. Um. Man with curly brown hair. Shaggy hair. Curly brown hair, shaggy beard, uh, brown eyes, wearing splint mail, and a greatsword. Great axe. That sounds cooler. I want the great axe. Copper wheel guide, Denain lava shield. Cobalt eggs. That's all I'm going to say. Just cobalt eggs for this.
basically. Uh, I guess I'll just write down some more notes for myself, actually. Blood gold. Little laundry. Um, depending upon their speed, my speed slash stealth or cult activities logger in houses run too quickly along certain spots triggers a small landslide Various wild animals. Um, Let's see, wild. Ooh. Actually, yeah. Rambling man says stuff about Ikora. Crazy man says stuff about Ikora. <laughs> yep. I think welcome back sponge oh, I was really lost in thought because you said that four minutes ago holy shit but yeah it's pretty much good like I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff about like the locations of blah 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 and whatever doesn't get used I can just copy and paste into my archive Wherever the hell I put the in-game stuff. And uh, yeah. I right, save it for later. What are the red and blue borders for? Like these? These two things? They're just like essentially the borders of the nations. Like Ilion, right here. They're like the city state. It's they're like the rulers of the nation. They have there's red borders because everything's like really decentralized at this point in time. And we got the darkish purple blue with Palos. And then we got Caden, which is the light uh, teal. Basically, these three nations are at war, or they're about to be at war with each other because there's a lot of stuff with a lot of resources, and they want it. And whoever wins is essentially going to be the... They're going to be set up to be like a Roman Empire-style faction in the future. So yeah, that's that. But anyways, I'm out. I'm fucking hungry. Have a good one, Sponge. I'll be back streaming tomorrow in like... Huh. Around like 24 hours and 30 minutes, maybe? Maybe 25 hours and 30 minutes? We'll see. Bloop!